So what is up people, welcome to my channel Dr. Ray Science. So today in this video, I'll be showing you the new improvements which came in the Android 10 on the Samsung Galaxy A50s. So let's jump right into the video. So the first improvement is gonna be the volume button improvement. So when you normally just click the volume button up or down, you will get a different animation. But in this One UI 2 and in the Android 10 update, you get a different one. So this is much better and much cooler. And when you click the down arrow, there's some more options. And you can see that it's it's so different. And when you just hold it and uh, increase or decrease, you can see there's another in animation in it. That's also so cool. So let me just try one, try, try it once again. And ringtone, yeah, it's damn cool. So can you can try it uh, for yourself. All you have to do is just push the volume button up or down and you just have to update your phone to the Android 10 or One UI and you'll automatically get this. So let's hop into the next one. So the second one is going to be about the smooth animations which you'll get by opening or closing an app. So when you open an app you'll get some cool animation and then when you close it also you'll get a nice animation. So it's so simple, all you have to do is open and close an app. The animation has been improved in this One UI 2. So that's really cool. And let me just show you. Again another app and it's sm so smooth. And when you close it, it's so super smooth. And also I have enabled the navigation gestures. I'll bring the One UI 2 tips and tricks in another video. So stay, stay tuned for that. And that's all about the second uh, trick, second improvement, the smooth, uh, smooth animations. So let's uh, hop into the next one. So the third one is gonna be all about the notification panel. So when you swipe down you see a huge difference, especially on the icons. So let's do that later. And you can see the time has been changed also. It was in the middle, now it's in the left side. And the icons are also more contrasty and they have become small. And it's more easy to use and like it's, uh, it's so easy to swipe and stuff. So let me just swipe up once again. And then again let me just swipe down. And yeah, so that's all about the notification panel. Let's go to the next one. So the next one is gonna be on the camera. See, it's, it's all it's gonna be all about the camera app. So comparing to the Android One UI 1.5 or 1 version, the camera app has been changed a lot. So you can see that the settings those are just as it is. But when you go down the shutter button and the options are, have been have been changed. When you click more you'll get your previous options but now it's not there in the downside so you can however select it and put it in this the, the downside bar all you have to do is just uh, long press one and just do the super slow mo you have to long press it and then drag it to uh, next to this uh, video icon and then you can just click save and it will get saved automatically so let me just put that back and so yeah it's so simple they have made it uh, more easy to use so yeah that's all about the camera app so let's uh, go to the next one. So this one is going to be something which is regarding the apps. So when you see the Samsung default apps like the uh, phone button, the message button or the camera button, the uh, it has more, uh, the contrast has been more increased. When you go to settings, you can see the, some other icons also have been changed and the contrast has also been increased. So it's so like stunning to look at when you're seeing in the eyes. So that's another nice improvement. So once again, yeah, the contrast in this phone button and the messaging and also the camera button, which are the default uh, Samsung app. Yeah. So this is uh, this part is going to be only about the the in software, the, the inbuilt software about the Android 10. Yeah, the contrast has been improved. Yeah, that's all what I'm going to say in this part. So yeah, let's uh, hop into the next one and let's see. So the digital well-being of the Samsung devices has been significantly improved in this Android 10. When you, all you have to do is go to your settings then scroll down till you find uh, an option called digital well-being and parental controls. Just click on it and as you can see it has been changed uh, significantly. So it's totally different uh, uh, comparing to the previous version. Uh, you can see all the notification unlocks and uh, more details are given. So yeah, this is an awesome improvement uh, on the One UI 2 and oh yeah, including the Android 10 on the Samsung Galaxy A50s. 
so yeah if you didn't update your phone just go and update it right now to unlock these cool awesome features so that's gonna be all about the digital well-being side so we have completed this also so now let's go to the next one which is an interesting one so let's hop into that one right now so this which is going to be the seventh improvement is uh, going to be all about the app folders so when you open the folder of uh, the of, of some certain apps you can see the difference which has been changed significantly uh, regarding uh, in comparing with the one UI 1.5 so and I'll, I'll also make a video rec comparing the difference between the 2 and one UI 2.0 and also the one UI 1.5 so yeah stay tuned for that and you can also change the color as you wish but this option is also available in the one UI 1.5 so that's uh, also a feature which already exists so yeah so that's gonna be all about it so let's hop into the last and the final one So the last one is going to be all about the device care which is an important feature in the Samsung phones. So in the One UI 2 version there will be a huge change in the device care. All you have to do is click on it and you will see it. So you can see uh, comparing the One UI 1.5 this has been changed significantly a lot and the, it's so easy and it's much better now. And let me close it and show you show it to you once again. You just have to click on it and it's so fast comparing to the previous version and also there's the widget you can uh, put so I'll just on it using the widget now the device care widget you have to click it and it will pop up so that's it for today so if you have enjoyed the video please make sure you subscribe to my channel and also like the video and yeah as always see you guys in the next video